In this tutorial, we're going to cover the um, old paper effects. And to do that, I'm going to open up a page. And I'm actually going to paste um, something that I cut out earlier, which is actually a Yahoo page that I just, you know, took a snapshot of. So here we have it. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually use the lasso tool. And since this looks like a newspaper, I'm just going to cut, you know, as though I was cutting something out of the newspaper. You know, just not perfect cut, but you know, just cut around like, like so. All right. And I'm going to Control J to create a new layer over here, and I'm going to turn off the first layer. Okay. So we'll put something like this, and now I'm going to click on the magnifying tool to give you more sense of what we're working with. I'm going to hit the tab key or the space bar rather to move this. Okay, now we're centered. So this is what we've cut out and we want to give this an old paper look. So you know those old dingy newspaper that you've kept in the basement forever. So how do you give it that look? Well the quickest way to do it is by doing the following. I'm going to create a layer and in that layer what I'm going to do is create our rusty look and to do so I'm going to go to our color picker right here our foreground color rather I'm going to click on the foreground color and I'm going to come down the color grid and look for something that looks you know rusty alright I'm going to choose like so alright that looks pretty rusty alright you can make it a little bit lighter like that I'm going to click OK so now we have a foreground that's going to look like this but the trick here is I'm going to just make this portion you know really dirty and not the rest of the page so to do that I'm gonna select the cutting and I'm gonna to go to the layer I'm gonna click on control click to have my marching ants and then go to the next layer which will automatically it jumped up to the next layer and what I'm going to do is go to filter render clouds I'm gonna apply clouds now you see we end up with this now to apply this effect to our newspaper what I'm gonna do is stay on the layer that has the clouds click on the downward arrow key I can go up to overlay overlay makes it look you know faded you know like you see some newspaper that's been sitting out forever and the UV rays of the sun just you know took the colors away or to give it an even better look I can go up to multiply now look at that is that a really old paper look you know dingy look or what I mean look at this newspaper it looks like it's been dramped in water or you left it out in the rain and it's been sitting out forever and then you have a look like that I'm gonna go up here click alright and I'm going to merge the two layers right there by just going to control E both of the layers are merged and just like that just like that folks you have an old paper look and this effect can be applied to any piece of artwork that you have on your stage